Well, my mom, she used to live on a farm in Oklahoma, and ever since then, I've always wanted to live on a farm for some reason. And I've always wanted to live out here. I used to live in the city, and it was like, when I was little, it was just my dream to live here and like do stuff like this activity. Claire's dreams are coming true. Not only does she now live in this area, her teacher, Kaylin Beatty, has started a FFA chapter at Washington Middle School. Beatty's history with FFA goes back several years. I started my FFA career as a freshman at Union High School. After high school, I went on to get my American degree, which was really important to me because my dad had also gotten the American degree whenever he was in FFA. Beatty's love of agriculture started practically at birth. So I did grow up on a farm. Our farm has been in my family since 1896. And recently my husband and I took over the cattle operation along with my sister and her husband from my dad um, because he's starting to retire a little bit. Beatty was able to take her experiences of growing up on a farm and her time in FFA to Washington Middle School. Well, at the end of the school year last year, Mrs. Young had a project in her class and it was, how can we make Washington Middle School better? And one of the groups was focusing on making an FFA chapter here. So then this school year, then we got it started. Although FFA has existed at the high school for many years, younger students did not get the exposure to agricultural education, but this year that all changed is a really good introductory course essentially for getting students into knowing more about agriculture, where their food comes from, how things are grown. It's, it's applicable to lots of different students. With dairy, we did taste testing with cheese and that was pretty fun. This time we're doing grains and we're making food and we're gonna have a Thanksgiving meal. It's pretty exciting for me. What has started as a simple question to help improve Washington Middle School has led to even more opportunities for students. I'm Zach Batson, reporting.